products of this program, the technology of it, lends itself well to an interesting way to portray it for you. So we're going to try our best to show you rather than tell you about this program. Okay, there's Don Andrew's hand in Menlo Park. And in a second we'll see the screen that he's working and the way the tracking spot moves in conjunction with movements of that mouse. I don't know why we call it a mouse. Sometimes I apologize. It started that way and we never did change it. All right. As it moves up or down or sideways, so does the tracking spot. And the, the principles for its operation are quite easy to see. If you'll turn it over, Don. Its principle is that there are two wheels that roll on the surface. But since they're at right angles and kind of sharp edges, one roll and the other slide in one direction. And as the mouse moves over a surface, then each of those wheels either slides sideways without rolling or rolls an amount that very closely duplicates the particular component of horizontal or vertical and the net motion it makes. I was sitting in a conference uh, probably about 1961, and it was a conference on computer graphics, primitive as it was then. And um, I think I got bored at the kind of way they were dealing with it because, you know, it was going to get interactive and they should realize that more. I realized that you know, pointing at the screen was always going to be important. And oh, it just suddenly occurred to me: why don't I get put wheels in two two directions and get them on a device like this and move it around? And each wheel gets registered. The computer is how far you move up and down or how far you move sideways. Oh, that'd be great. If you take a mouse and move it through some closed trajectory back to exactly the same point, usually the tracking spot won't come back to exactly the same place it was on the screen. And for that sense, it wouldn't work well if you're trying to trace maps or other figures and di diagrams. But the way we use it continuously and con exclusively is to watch the screen and to follow it around. And we use this merely as a device to move that tracking spot. And you're eyeing the tracking spot. You really don't care whether it follows exactly this or not. 